I already put that on. Just doing a little skincare and getting ready for the day. I started using the new Desi Claro Que Si Vitamin C and I really, really like it. As you can see, it's kind of like a cream. It's like a serum, like a vitamin C serum, but some vitamin, well, most vitamin C serums that I've tried are more like liquidy um, and they're perfectly fine. But this one is really, really nice. And I've been keeping my eye on some dark spots I had here. Like you could still kind of like faintly see them, like that little dot. Um, every time I get a breakout, even if I don't touch it or anything, I'm prone to dark spots. So I make sure to use vitamin C every single morning because that lightens the dark spots because I get them all the time and you have to be really careful in the sun. So yeah, I'm a really big fan of vitamin C and I'm really liking Desi's. The packaging is really nice. It's a bit heavy, but it's a really beautiful packaging. I have to take my allergy medicine. I'm puppy sitting. I don't know if you hear the dogs <laughs> playing in the background, but I'm a little allergic to Zoe. And yesterday I didn't take my Zyrtec because um, I was feeling kind of okay, but I guess since I haven't taken my Zyrtec in a while, I'm getting, look at her. <laughs> She's playing with Maxi. Maxi, where are you? I think Maxi's on the floor. Oh, he's right next to me. Yeah, I gotta take my uh, my allergy medicine because I'm really stuffy this morning and I'm a little itchy. There they go. When you use vitamin C, you wanna make sure to also use a sunscreen. This one I have been obsessed with. I keep talking about it on my stories. It's by Tula. And it has skincare in it as well, so it doesn't feel like a sunscreen. Like, if you don't like that sunscreen smell or how it feels, you would love this one. It has SPF 30, and it makes your skin super glowy. I love wearing this just because it makes my skin look really nice. Let me get my allergy medicine because I feel like I cannot breathe. Be good, you guys. I actually have a hair appointment in a few hours. So I'm just getting ready for the day now. I I was gonna go a little lighter. I still don't know what I'm doing because I ordered some extensions. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but I was saying that if I go lighter, it's not really gonna be on my own hair too much. It's gonna be just the extension, like adding a row of lighter extensions. That's what my stylist recommended. And so I have a pack of hair that's the exact color of these extensions, which I really love. I love this color because I feel like it's the perfect kind of color for me. These dogs. <laughs> and then I ordered a pack of extensions. I'll show you guys later when I get up again. Um, but I'm not loving them. They're like, I'll show you guys the difference later. But yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing to my hair today. I don't know if we're just going to keep it the same and maybe just bring up the color a little. You see like my my money pieces like they're grown out a little so maybe we'll touch that up i don't really know so either way i don't really care because i love the color that i have so i'm not pressed to go light or anything i mean i would like to just because it's, it's the summer and i can always just go back to this color but we'll see where's my concealer where is my other concealer i need to clean my vanity and like redistribute products that I'm no longer using. Oh, it's losing my hands the whole time. I'm losing my mind. <clears throat> Let's call Randy. I love how they made my bed the play area. It's funny how dogs always need to be around people because they were in the living room and now that I'm here, they want to be here. Oh my God, my photographer sent me the new photos of some of the new products that we're launching some of the new jewelry pieces and they look so amazingly beautiful i'm obsessed obsessed max i'm calling your father all right he's not picking up so he must be in a meeting or something and i've been testing out like this little cuff ear cuff I slept with it on last night just because I forgot like I don't feel it on like some ear cuffs are super uncomfortable and some you have to be careful with because they kind of fall off easily. This one I've had it on for probably 24 hours now because I put it on yesterday and I completely forgot that I had it on because I didn't feel it and I woke up this morning and I was like oh my god my ear cuff 
is still on me so this is like something that's making the cut for instance because it's just so amazing it's really beautiful and dainty it's so tiny uh, it's just so cute so like if you don't want to add piercings but you want to look like you have extra piercings like this is such a cute piece to add and it's just so cute and dainty and you can adjust it a little like play around with it depending on where you want to put it and once i put it on here i just like squeezed it tighter and it's been there and then i'm also um testing out these little moon studs super super dainty moon studs because i asked you guys let me do my makeup while i talk to you guys but i asked you guys on stories what kind of jewelry you would like to see on sunday energy in the future and a big big request were more studs which i definitely have not been really doing studs although we are launching studs this week and more like really really dainty pieces like for piercing so this moon stud you guys are going to be very very excited about because it's just so tiny and especially if you have multiple piercings it looks really cute on even if you don't it's just like a really nice dainty earring that's also comfortable to sleep with because i've had the moon stud in for a few days now i haven't taken it off and it's super comfortable to sleep with some earrings i don't really like to sleep with earrings on other than like the permanent piercings that i have on here because they're still healing so i can't take them off but these moon studs they are super comfortable to sleep with like i don't feel it at all which i like oh randy's calling us back <clears throat> Hi, babe. Oh, buenos dias. Buenos dias, señor. What's up, babe? How's your day? It's good. Elva left, and I'm here with the puppies. Aww. The dogs. Max is laying. Look, he's so tired. I was calling you because they were playing like crazy on my bed. Yeah. And I guess they got tired. Max, where you keep up? <laughs> I, I was just saying that, like, he's like breathing hard. He's like, <laughs> I was about to send your dad a link. My uh, dad? I was gonna send your dad a link about these, uh, you know, those gels that they sell for like energy while you're biking? <clears throat> yeah. So they, that website has a huge sale to 60% off now. So I bought some things. I just don't know what he likes. So I'm just sending him a link so you can check it out. Oh, that's so sweet, babe. So thoughtful. Um, one of the things that I've been really loving is this palette by Benefit. I think this is fairly new. It's called Fire Cream Forescope. And it's a blush, it's a bronze blush and highlight palette. And the palette brings the Hula Bronzer, which I was about to pick up anyways. So it's nice that this palette brings blush and bronzer and a highlight um because it's just nice to have it all in a palette but i love the hula bronzer i forgot how much i love it i haven't purchased it in years and it's i feel like it's actually the perfect kind of undertone for me when it comes to bronzing and what is it contouring so i've been using the bronzer i use this blush this one is kind of like a highlight blush I really haven't been using it, but I do like the highlighter as well. So like these three I use quite a lot. The last thing I'm going to do is lips. I'm using the Carly Bible Il Maquillage Lip Liner in Luna. I forgot that these lip liners are waterproof and I've been wearing this a lot all week because I think she's coming out with some new products and she's bringing back this lip liner tomorrow. By the time you guys watch this, it will already be have been launched. But I forgot how much I liked this lip liner. So I'm definitely going to order another one. Maybe I'll try the new one also. And then for this, I'm obsessed with. Like so obsessed with this. It's by Buxom. It's a new product of theirs called Plum Shot. And it's basically like a lip serum that has collagen. It's going to smooth off fine lines on your lips. And it also gives you that plump effect it's called it comes in one shade called filler because it's supposed to give you like that filler look and i literally just put lip liner and this and that's been my vibe all week 
because it once I put it on, it kind of gives my lip, I guess because of the ingredients of it, like those active ingredients that are kind of plumping your lips, it already starts to tingle, I guess, as soon as you put it on. It, make, it gives my lips a little color, like it makes it a little darker. So it looks like I have on lip color, but I just overlined my lips with the lip liner and this. And I love it because it's a more natural look. Sorry about the dog <laughs> playing in the background. All right, I'm gonna put my jewelry on. I already have on my classic Evo Eye necklace. This is probably, this is my baby. I always say it's my baby. It's what I launched Sunday Energy with and it still sells out to this day, which is such a blessing. And I just love this necklace so much, but I have it on in gold. We actually have it in stock right now in gold, silver, and rose gold. And then I'm gonna wear this new chain. So this new chain is called Dykeman and it's a little bit of a shorter one because it's kind of choker style, but not a choker. So this is the Dykeman chain. Um, fun fact about me, I actually used to live in Dykeman when I was younger. I grew up in the Heights and I lived in Dykeman. Um, and it's like Dykeman is kind of like an inside joke between me and Randy. So I thought it was so appropriate for this chain to be called Dykeman. And you know, it's summertime. I know I'm gonna see some of you guys in Dykeman anyways. So I love that this chain is called Dykeman. This one should be available in June. I literally just need the jewelry for June to be photographed and then we will be ready to launch. And then I'm gonna wear my Saint Vibes necklace as well. This is also one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna wear it underneath this one. You guys, what I'm wearing for earrings, I have on the little moon studs, which I don't know when they'll be launching, but these I think for sure will be making it into the collection. Um, the little ear cuff that I'm obsessed with. They're probably gonna launch around the same time as the moon studs. Um, and yeah. And then for rings, I think I'm gonna wear two of my manifested rings. I love my manifested ring. Oh my God, I'm totally wearing the manifested ring because I don't know if I showed you guys my manicure, but it's smiley faces and the manifested ring has Smiley face is on it. I totally have to wear this ring. I love this weather. Oh my gosh. I'm always hitting that now. I'm always hitting that light. So, as you guys could see, I just finished getting my hair done i'll show you guys the difference in extensions i'll break it down for you guys when i get home i didn't record it while i was in there because she didn't have she didn't have anywhere for me to put my camera down and it was just gonna be complicated so here we are i love how it turned shame out shame that i have nowhere to go after i get my hair done tomorrow i'm supposed to go work out in the morning and i really do want to but there's a wait list and i'm still not off the wait list so Hopefully, I get off the wait list. Even though I don't want to ruin the hair. It's like, whatever. I'm not going to go out anyways. I'm so exhausted. I just want to relax. I'm going to shower soon and watch Real Housewives of New York. Wait. I cannot focus. But I wanted to talk to you guys about what I did because I'll get questions. And if I don't answer them when it's fresh in my mind, then I will forget what the heck I'm going to tell you guys. Oh. Did I show you guys this earlier? I went I went to Starbucks before my visit and I take something very similar to this tumbler to, ooh, to my workout class. And I thought it was so cute to have a second option. It's just like one of these reusable Starbucks cups. Nothing super special about it. Um, I just saw it and I it was pretty cheap. It had like this like white marble-ish kind of effect but yeah i just grabbed a new one because i like to have a backup option but let me show you guys all the hair okay so i think the last vlog i was telling you guys that i wanted to go 
blonder and that I was just going to um, add a row of extensions so that were a little lighter and then two rows that were the same color. I ordered the hair. The hair took so long to get here. It actually didn't get here until last night. And when I opened it, I was like, oh no, I don't know how I feel about that color. So I didn't actually take it out of the packaging. I just took it out of the box that it came in. And I'm glad I didn't open it because I think I'm going to return the hair. I think I'm going to exchange it because I don't think Bellamy lets you do returns. You can only exchange. So this is all my old hair. This is the hair that I had in my hair. This is what they look like. It's just wefts. And the color that I got, I believe, is the 1C1846 blend. And it is a little bit rooted. And then we get like that blondish color here at the end. And it's like blend a blend of colors. So it's not just like all one solid color, which works best for me. Um, and when I first got this set, I ended up ordering two sets, two, um, I ended up ordering two sets of it, two packs, because I thought I was going to need two packs of hair and I only needed one. Um, so I just had this, the same color set and I kept it. Um, and I decided to use the new hair today and I'm so glad that I did because what my stylist was telling me and I will link her information down below for you guys. She was saying that when the hair extension is new, the hair is a lot brighter and it looks blonder, which it really does. After a while, it starts to get like a little dull and like there's buildup in it and everything. Um, but these were still really amazing quality. Like I could have kept using these a little bit longer, but I'm kind of glad that I did switch it up because it made me realize I don't think I want to go lighter. I think I want to stick to this color because it just looks so bright and blonde anyways. So we didn't do much to my hair. We just lip, we brought the color. We just touched up the color. It looks like it's a little bit higher. We touched up the money pieces because they had started to grow out a little. So as you can see, they look really fresh and bright. And money pieces make you look so much blonder and brighter. It's my favorite thing ever. And yeah, that's it. I get three rows of the hand tied weft extensions done. I can typically go six to seven weeks until I have to move them up. My next appointment is in seven weeks. I already have it pre-booked. That's pretty much it. I love how my hair turned out. I don't think I'm going to be going blonder. I think I'm going to stick to this color because it just I feel like any blonder it might not look right with my skin tone. I think this color definitely works. But yeah, next time I go in seven weeks, I won't do color. I'll probably just tone the color and move the extensions up and that's about it. But that's my little update. I'm exhausted, you guys. I was at the salon for like six hours, and that is super draining. So I'm going to get ready to just chill. Although while I'm working, I'm going to, while I'm watching Real Housewives, I'm going to do a little work. I have to add the new studs that are coming to Sunday Energy to the website, like add the description, add the photos, because the photographer sent me the photos earlier and go through the inventory for it because i actually already have inventory i just um i just have to organize it all so i want to get it organized because i'm going to launch the new pieces either friday or sometime next week but let me I forgot to show you guys the difference in the hair this is a color that i originally had which is what i've been using all these months now so as you can see it's a little rooted and then we get the blend of blonde and it's all that color these the photos on bellamy kind of suck a little because it did not look like this on the photo like look at how long the root is it's probably like from up there going all the way down and then you have a little bit of blonde so it just wasn't going to look right i'm glad i didn't open it because i think i would have been very unhappy with this color a little better should we put the light on Oh, I hate how it looks like that. I'm turning the light off. It's not as bright, but I feel like, you know what, I'll open this a little. That helps. Okay, I don't know how, but I think that I have developed eczema. And it's very, it's been really irritating. And it's, it's kind of started slowly the last couple of years. Um, let me explain. So a couple years ago, my theory is that it started on my hands. Oh, hold on one sec. 
My theory is that it started on my hands and I would get like these rough patches on my hands and I couldn't, I kept trying different products, try to help it and nothing, no hand creams, body butters, oils, nothing would work. And finally, we're basically gonna do like an eczema skincare haul. Finally, I gave this Eucerin Eczema Relief Hand Cream a try and it has been amazing. I ran out and I hadn't been using it for the last few days and I started to get the little rough patches again so I picked one up today. Um, and then it started happening on my lips. I actually still feel it a little bit. Like you can't see it, but I could feel it. It's already starting to go away because I've been using something for it. But with the lips, I didn't think it had any connection with my hands. I was just, and once again, I started buying every lip balm I could think about. Like every single one from drugstore to high end. Like I was trying everything, oils, everything. So finally, I was like, I wonder if it's eczema also. So I picked up this eczema honey lip balm. I think the brand is actually called eczema honey. I found this at CVS. And it started to go away when I picked up this lip balm. So that's that. And then most recently, I'm starting to get it on my face. So right now, I think I have it like all on my jawline, like literally all of this. And you can't really see it because I've completely left my face alone. I don't think the camera is going to pick it up at all. I could feel it, but you can't see it. Like it bothers me the most at night and in the morning, it's like super red and itchy. I have an ice roller and ice pack, so I just put the... Like I just ice it so that it doesn't irritate me and so that I'm not like scratching on my skin because it's so itchy that you just want to like scratch your skin off. So I'm going to make an appointment with a dermatologist. But in the meantime, to alleviate the discomfort that I've been feeling, I went to the store and I got some products. I didn't even do much research. I just know that I always saw these products for eczema and they were like the ones that came up right away when I searched it. So I picked up this product by CeraVe, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's the moisturizing cream and it's accepted by the National, well, it's accepted by the National Eczema Association. So I was like, okay, they have a little Eczema Association um, badge there, so it must be good. And then I was like, okay, when I wear makeup, I wonder if the makeup wipes I'm using or the stuff that I use to remove my makeup could be a little too much for my skin. So then I also got the CeraVe makeup cleansing wipes. Um, there's, and it says that they're ultra gentle and they're also accepted by the eczema association So I'm actually gonna try the cream for the first time now Oh, Randy's calling me Hi, babe Dominican Republic <laughs> Well, your voice is on the camera. Well, you can say hello now you're on the camera Hello I'm putting on my eczema face cream for the first time. I'm so excited because you know my struggle the last few days. Yeah, you've been going through it. Oh my God, that feels so nice. Can I call you back in two minutes? Yeah. Okay. Let me call you back in two minutes. All right, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, I could tell it's working because my when I put my other skincare on, like, because it feels, like, really dry. So I'm thinking, like, okay, I need, like, some type of moisture. So when I put my other um, creams on, um, there's no relief, and it still feels pretty dry. But instantly, I wish you guys could feel it. Like, this side still feels like I have that rough patch, and this side feels completely normal. This is where I put the the cream on it. So I'm pretty sure it's eczema. I've never dealt with eczema. So I just, it took me a while to catch on. I just thought like I was having issues with my skin. Like I was just getting drier, but it's more than just that. Cause it's like itchy and patches and it's irritating and really uncomfortable. So I'm gonna keep trying this cream for the next few days. Well, until whenever. And when I go see a dermatologist, I'll show them what I'm using and see if they think I should just keep using that or if I should get something prescribed. I hope I can just keep using this because it's easy to just 
pick up at the drugstore. Oh my god, that feels so nice. You guys have no idea like how uncomfortable I've been. I haven't worn makeup in a few days. Just like letting my skin breathe because I was trying to eliminate what could it have possibly been. But I have not introduced my skin to anything new, not even food wise. I've actually been eating pretty clean. And I was just going over everything that I could possibly have been using. I stopped putting makeup on. I washed my makeup brushes. And still I was having these like, like flare ups. I don't know. Wow, that feels really, really nice, you guys. Good morning. I woke up in a very chatty, talkative mood, like in the mood to just vlog and catch up with you guys. I woke up like at 6.30, did a few things, went on a walk with Max, had a little coffee, which it was my first time having coffee in a few days, which is weird. I usually have to have coffee every morning, but for the last few days, I just haven't been wanting it. And today I woke up so early that I was like, I could use a little coffee. And it gave me the worst heartburn. So I was like, ugh, I think I'm gonna take a little break from coffee. Shocking, but I think I need to. I don't know, it hasn't been sitting well with me. Um, and then I hopped on my stories on IG because I haven't really been active. I took like a few days off, not purposely, just because I was, I've just been pretty overwhelmed with everything I have going on right now with Sunday energy, the majority being. Um, and it was just like the last couple of weeks have been kind of hectic and crazy. I haven't really told you guys much. Not It's not anything serious, but it's just been a lot of like little weird things happening to me. And I've just been like, I need, I need a break. <laughs> so I actually cleaned the entire apartment, like deep cleaned everything, organized everything. And tonight I want to sage just to like clear all the negativity, weird energy here that does not serve me and Max. Just clear everything out. So I'm gonna sage, maybe I will sage with you guys. Maybe we'll all get a sage. Like I'm gonna sage the camera, I'm gonna sage you guys, send you guys some positive loving energy. Um, but yeah, that's what was going on. I haven't worn makeup still. I know I was telling you guys, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, I was telling you guys that I think I have eczema now. Um, so I've been giving my skin a break from putting anything on. It's still bothering me. Like I could like hear, you can't see anything, but you could feel it. It feels like a little rougher than my regular skin. And that's never felt like that before. I'm still using the CeraVe. I think that's how you pronounce it. CeraVe, I don't know. I'm still using that, which it definitely helps, has helped a ton when it comes to like how itchy and irritating it was. All right, let's get the vibes going for today. I'm in a really good productive mood. I had the craziest, busiest day yesterday and I let myself get overwhelmed. But today I woke up and I was like, calm down. Whatever doesn't get done, doesn't get done. You can only do so much. So let's get this day started. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. This is a Vitruvi diffuser it's very expensive but i invested in it because it's you charge it and i because you're able to put it anywhere in, in your house like before with other diffusers i had a different vitruvi diffuser but because it has a cord it was kind of annoying to like disconnect it put it somewhere else and i just would never do it and now with this one i can put it in my room sometimes i can move it around the living room so i really do like it i ordered mine directly from amazon but you can get it on their website too. I'll link it for you guys. But I'm gonna fill this up. Give me a second. This right here is my favorite oil or scent. What is it called? Favorite diffusing scent. I purchased it for the last time a little over a year ago when I first moved to this apartment. It's the scent Santal. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the scent Santal, like the fragrance. Super expensive. This oil is expensive. However, this bottle has lasted me over a year. And I mean, I'm, no, I still got a good way to go. And then I ordered this dropper from Amazon. When I ordered it, I thought I was ordering a small one. And this is what I got because this doesn't bring a dropper. And I don't want to just like pour it and make a mess. So I literally just use this. This is so ghetto. Like I need to find a smaller dropper. 
and then I count. I do like 20 drops because I think that's what the instructions. I don't even count. I'm not even gonna lie, it's too early to be counting. Oh my God, I almost freaked out. I thought I wasn't recording this whole time. The amount of times that that has happened where I think I'm vlogging and I talk so much crap and then it's like, actually you weren't recording. And then here you have the option to put it on for four hours or eight hours. I'm gonna do four hours. Um, if you don't want the light on, you can just hit this button. Yeah, but I like the light on. It lets me know it's on. 30 a.m. I'm gonna hop in the shower and get dressed for the day. I really want to edit this video um, because I really wanna try to squeeze in one more video because next week I'm going on vacation and I would love to get like one more video in so that I can upload it while I'm on vacation or I can edit it now and schedule it for when I'm on vacation. So we'll see how that goes. I don't really know. It's like 9.30 a.m. now. I'm letting some light into the apartment so we can get moving. And I wanted to ask you guys, sometimes, don't you feel like sometimes you don't use your nice things because you're like, oh, I don't want to waste it. I want to leave it. And then I have to remind myself, um, hello, we're here for a good time, not a long time. I can't just get all these nice things and then never use them because I think they're too nice to use on a regular day. So I'm having one of those moments because I just need to set the vibe for my life for this week. Maxi, nosy puppy. I always forget, oh my God, he is so cute, I can't deal with him. I like, I rarely light candles in my room. I'll sometimes bring my diffuser in here, but I will rarely light a candle because I feel like I haven't been spending enough time in here. I'm always in the living room or out, but I have this candle that I've had for a couple months. It was given to me as a gift. It smells amazing. It's by the brand Veluspa and it's the scent Apple Blue C Clover. I mean, it's a beautiful work of our candle and it smells amazing. And to me, it smells like something that I would light in the bathroom or in my room, kind of like spa vibes. So I'm going to light it now. I lit it the other day, but I'm going to light it while I get ready. Let me grab, I got to cut the wick. Lighting my candle so I can enjoy getting ready in here. I have some packages I have to order. I'm mean, not order <laughs> that I have to open up. Because I ordered some clothes and I ordered bathing suits. Hmm. I haven't tried on a bathing suit in so long. Don't even get me started on that topic. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to end it here because I want to edit this vlog and upload it tomorrow. But also I want to start filming a new vlog for you guys. That will dive into prepping for vacation. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that we can prep for vacation together because I'm doing a bunch of stuff to prep for vacation today and I want to bring you guys along with me because I think it'll be fun and different from the day-to-day -day stuff I've been doing. I'm so excited to go on vacation you guys and just have a change of scenery and take a little break and bring you guys with me. We haven't gone on vacation in quite a while and oh my god it's gonna be mine and Randy's first vacation together ever and I'm so excited so I definitely want to make some memories and share with you guys so make sure you keep watching my channel make sure you keep an eye on my stories if you're not following me on Instagram stop what you're doing go to Instagram type Melissa Flores my profile will come right up and follow me because the stories are about to get very lit on vacation so thank you guys so much for watching this video I will see you guys in the next one bye you're gone.